Hey there, welcome to Bar to the Stairs. I'm Alex, and today we are going to be making a Mai Tai. Anybody want a Mai Tai? <laughs> A Mai Tai is an amazing canvas for making all sorts of different variations on this cocktail. Sammy, for instance, does a Mai Tai variation using White Dog, which is an unaged whiskey, and it makes for amazingly complex flavors. There are a couple other local bars here in town in Cincinnati that do, uh, one does it with balsamic vinegar, and it's like this amazing, like, funky Mai Tai. There's another bar that does it with uh, bittering agents, and they call it their bitter Mai Tai. Every variation of this drink has the potential to be absolutely amazing, so it's a really fun drink template to kind of experiment with. That being said, today's Mai Tai, we are going to stick to something close to the original classic recipe of aged rum, specifically an aged Jamaican rum. It's also gonna have some fresh lime juice, or jot, which is an almond syrup, and orange curacao, which is an orange liqueur. What are those nice drinks with all the lovely fruit in them? Uh, those are called Mai Tais. Mai Tais? <laughs> what a nice name. I think I'll try one. How about you? Uh, yes, Mai Tai have a Mai Tai. <laughs> I am going to add three quarters of an ounce of orgeat. You could absolutely make orgeat at home. For that, you're just gonna need almonds, sugar, water, and orange blossom flower water to make it. We elected to buy it. I'm just using the Fee Brothers. We're gonna actually add an ounce of lime juice. We want this to be nice and tart. Add three quarters of an ounce of dry curacao. I'm using the Pierre Ferrand dry curacao. If you look at like the international like specs for how to make a Mai Tai, it, can it calls for all sorts of different rums, but you can use a white rum and a dark rum. You can use aged rum. We're gonna use predominantly aged Jamaican rum. So I'm gonna use an ounce and a half of it. And then just for proof's sake, I'm going to do a quarter ounce of Ran Nephew. This rum is super funky and grassy and banana-y and flavorful. I am just gonna shake this with just a couple cubes of ice just to chill it because we will be serving this drink over crushed ice. And then I'm gonna take a double old fashioned glass Pour that right in. six different rums out for this one and this combination right here is hands down our favorite for making this drink thank you guys so much for tuning in if you like this video please subscribe and leave a comment down in the bottom telling us what your favorite rums are what your favorite rum drinks are this has been our version of the mai tai my name is alex and thank you so much for tuning in to bar under the stairs we'll see you next time mm. Mm, it is good it's very good <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, I'll bet you don't know what kind of a ship that is. Oh, that ship is known as a three-masted schooner. Oh, no, it isn't. It's a bottle ship. A bottle ship? <laughs> <laughs>